Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the anti fuse technology. It is a second type of FPGA programming technologies, which is an anti fuse technology. Previously, we have seen SRAM programming technology. Nothing, nothing but it is having a six transistor programming method. Six transistors are there. All these transistors become on and off depending upon the input condition of the data. Okay, there we have used two CMOS transistors connected back to back and one pass transistor and a bit line wall and are there. Okay, so we have some disadvantages with uh, with respect to that SRAM cell. SRAM configuration memory burns a noticeable amount of power even when the program is not changed. Okay, some important drawbacks are there with respect to the SRAM cell such we have to consider that's why we are going to the another programming methods like anti-fuse technology. So drawbacks of SRAM first one power consumption power consumption even in uh, we can say even when the program is not changed program is not changed in this condition also we are having a power consumption with respect to the SRAM cells so the bits in SRAM are susceptible to theft the bits in because it is a memory cell SRAM cell are susceptible to theft okay so that means there is no reliability of the security so SRAM based FPGAs have to be configured every time after power is gone nothing but volatile okay so volatile is the feature of SRAM cell because that is the that is having an arrays in the memory locations when the during the power of conditions okay so these are the drawbacks of the SRAM cell in order to avoid these conditions these drawbacks what we have stated here we have introduced one more they have introduced one more programming technology which is known as anti-fuse technology which is anti-fuse technology anti-fuse we know fuse okay anti-fuse technology is nothing but opposite action of the fuse okay what is the action of the fuse if you take fuse action fuse is nothing but initially initially connection established in fuse initially connection established okay we know in our home fuse is having initially connection established between two points when high power enters when high power enters then disconnected this is the normal conventional action of the fuse okay initially we have uh, initially the connection is established between two points but when high power enters through that connection just simply the connection breaks down to provide the to give the security to the home appliances this is the application of the fuse but anti fuse is the opposite case where initially no connection but whenever we are passing a current through that connection is established opposite is the case with respect to the operation of the fuse that is why it is named as anti fuse technology okay see here anti fuse is established between two metals metal 1 and metal 2 from this figure you can understand when a high current is passing through this metal 1 or metal 2 either in the bottom side or top side then this anti fuse establishes a current a connection between metal 1 and metal 2 okay initially no connection 
initially no connection but when current passes through that metal one metal two connected together but the main important thing is once the antifuse provides the connection establishes a connection between two points that is for permanent you cannot get the you cannot disconnect them back okay so the connection provided by the antifuse technology is a permanent connection we cannot reprogram it we cannot uh, disconnect them and again we cannot re reprogram it that is the main drawback of this one okay so antifuse technology antifuse is a one time programmable one time programmable technology okay because once the connection is established we cannot disconnect them okay that is the reason why it is one time programmable fuses are fuses are permanently put in place fuses are permanently put in place so instead of breaking a metal connection by passing through a current through it a link is grown to make a connection a link is established when current passes through it until then it is an open circuited okay so another thing is programming is programming is very slow programming is very slow because each anti fuse each anti fuse must be programmed separately how many anti fuses are there that many separate programs we need to give okay the, we need to program each and anti fuse separately but in sram cell it is not the case we can give at a time we can give all the sram cells programmed without any confusion but here we have uh, a number of anti fuses all these n number of anti fuses must be programmed each and every time separately okay and another point is they occupy small area they occupy very small area and another thing it is a non volatile memory it is a non volatile memory that means even in power of condition once the connection is established you cannot get it back even in power of condition the connection is established like that the memory is for permanent okay and it is irreversible irreversible that means design errors design errors cannot be corrected design errors cannot be corrected okay some advantages are there as well as some disadvantages are there with this and a fuse technology okay so what we can say uh, anti fuse technology anti fuse programming technology simply initially initially connection is not there okay no connection between the two points e and b okay when current passes connection is established okay if you see the points are what i have written for the fuse and anti fuse you can understand the difference between these two initially in the fuse technology initially we have connection 
when current passes high current passes simply the circuit breaks down but here in anti fuse technology initially there is no connection between two points but when current passes through it connection is established for lifetime it is a permanent connection that link has been established between two points for permanent connection okay this is what the technology of anti fuse technology okay advantages anti fuse technology is a non volatile memory design remain as it is even power is down okay even in the power of conditions also the data which is there in that that is stored delays due to routing are very small i will write here advantages advantages first one it's a non volatile memory that we should consider as an advantage non volatile memory even in power of conditions the data remains same delay due to routing delays due to routing are very small okay for providing interconnections among the transistors or configurable logic blocks the routing is very fast that means the delay incurred due to the routing may be less anti fuse fps is tend to require lower power low power consumption low power consumption so theft problem we have discussed in the case of sram technology sram technology is not reliable okay there is a possibility or susceptibility for the theft with the data in the sram cell can have Uh, cannot have any security but here theft problem is not there in anti fuse technology theft problem is not there in anti fuse technology okay the drawbacks what we have discussed in the sram now may be advantages for this anti fuse technology so disadvantages of this one disadvantages of anti fuse technology first one anti fuse technology requires a complex fabrication process it requires a complex fabrication process it requires a complex fabrication process external external programmer is required to program or configure the design external programmer is required to program or configure the design after which the design cannot be changed after which the design cannot be changed because it is a one time programmable okay this is the story behind anti fuse technology okay so anti fuse technology is a one time programmable and it is it establishes a permanent connection between two metals whenever a high current passes through it okay thank you